Sioux Falls, Washington's Randolph Kapai is pegged as the top football high school senior in the state. He's been ranked as high as the 16th best linebacker in the nation, and he's collected seven offers from Power 5 schools. Randolph is big time. But the guy who can't talk without smiling doesn't seem to know it. Where have you gone for camps? I haven't gone to any camps yet. How do you get a four-star rating? I don't even know. It's, I just oh, woke up. Crazy. Yeah, I just woke up one morning and was up there. So, the humble high school senior is one of the most sought-after football players in the nation. How did he become big time? It began when Randolph Davis Kapai was born in Ghana and spent his early childhood in Liberia on the west coast of Africa. My dad, he came to America when I was like just born when I was a baby. It was me, my mom, my older brother, and we lived with a bunch of cousins, you know? As a kid, his dreams were set to play football, not football. I thought I was going to be a soccer star <laughs> growing up because that's all, that's all it was back then, you know? Um, and I used to play soccer with my, my brother and my cousins all the time, and I wasn't very good at it, you know? So I was always like one of like, the kids who like, was last to get picked and stuff like that, you know? I don't I, I know, I, I swear to God, and because they're, they're all so, so much better than I was. When he was six, Randolph and the family joined his dad in Chicago. It didn't feel like home. It was a lot different, so <laughs> we came from like beer where it's like this warm, nice, like 70 degrees weather like all the time, you know, and then Chicago was like my first experience was like coming to like a, a snow, a snowstorm, it was like snow all over, it was different. But it was more than the unfamiliar weather that made him an outsider. Randolph experienced bullying in grade school because of his thick accent and his not understanding the American way of life. I, I will never forget this moment. I was getting a drink. I was in Chicago. I was getting a drink, right? And there's a water fountain. I've never seen a water fountain before. And <laughs> I pushed the, 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 I pushed the stuff in the water fountain, and I put my hands out, and I started drinking, like, <laughs> and because it, it was different, like, I didn't know, and then kids were just, like, looking at me, like, all different, so, like, laughing at me and stuff, you know? He can laugh about it now, but growing up was harsh for the grade schooler who was always on the defensive. He started getting in fights and getting into trouble. Kids would be making fun of me or saying a bunch of, like, racist stuff, you know? Especially like they would talk about like my mom and like my family and stuff like that. And I would just get like all defensive, you know, and I would start. I got in trouble a lot back there too. The family decided to join some relatives and start a new life in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Getting involved with sports helped straighten out Kapai's rocky road. Once I like started hanging out around like the right crowd, you know, and got myself involved in sports, and I would like take my time away off. Um, just keep me busy, you know? Once I found a game of like football, and once I started like loving the game a lot more, that kind of like my priorities, you know? It got, it got different, so. No more getting picked on or getting picked last. This new game of football took quickly, and he became one of the best on the field in short time. In recent years, the mental game started catching up with his raw talent. Once you, you, you analyze the plays better, you know, and you know what, like, what is like a specter of like the, um, your opponents? You just play faster. You just play faster and you can like evaluate like the game faster. As a high school sophomore, colleges were already eyeing the 6'3 linebacker. Iowa came in with the first offer he ever got. I actually cried, you know, because it was like a, a surreal moment to me. Um, I was just grateful to have the opportunity because I know not that many people have that chance to like go on and play at the next level, you know, while also getting like a higher education. So, and it was just like a very important moment to me because I didn't have to like, my parents didn't have to pay for college, you know. He just got a Big Ten offer and his first thoughts were that his parents wouldn't be burdened by expenses. He's big time, but what makes him special is his big heart. Like most of the stuff I do, I do it for like my family, you know. Um, my mom, she, she's no one that works harder than her, at least like in my opinion, you know. Um, and I just want to make her proud. He has already made people proud, but his next chapter will put him on a national stage. His combination of speed, agility, mobility, and strength, along with his frame and his smarts, have made him one of the top recruits to ever come out of South Dakota. He could have picked any college, but he chose Nebraska. It wasn't just about 
like the brand, like it is for like a lot of the other recruits, you know? Like they see like George or Clemson or all the other stuff, you know? For me, it was just about being a part of like something that I really believed, you know? And I just wanted to like go there and like help make a difference. Cornhusker fans, get ready. This top-notch talent has an even better attitude. Regardless of like how many stars you are or whatever, like everyone, like there's someone, there's someone out there who's better than you, you know? And that's kind of like my mindset, like going to like college too, because it's gonna come down to like discipline, like understanding like the playbook and doing like, and staying consistent. Consistency is gonna be key and finding like, and hanging around people who are gonna be, like who are gonna push me, you know? So um, stars don't really matter to me. And yeah, I just gotta put your head, once I get there, I'm just gonna put my head down and work, so. Joined by Jason and Dara, and there's been a lot of good kids just from Washington High School in Sioux Falls at Benson and Farniax in the last few years, and Randolph is amongst the best, right? You know, the one way he's separated himself is he's got more stars. He's a four-star recruit. These other guys didn't necessarily get those, so a very, very prized, prized recruit from this area like we normally don't see. And there's still a little mystery to that, right? Like he says in the story, four stars, okay, I'll take it, but where does that come from? Who knows? I mean, it's kind of mysterious. Usually you have to go to a lot of camps. He didn't go to a lot of camps, but you know, you watch this guy on tape and he just pops off the video because he's so agile, so versatile, and so strong and fast. And he's not, he's not skinny, but he's not big yet, but he's looking forward to that in Nebraska, right? He cannot wait to get on the Lincoln meal plan. This is the one thing he's really looking forward to at the college level is being able to eat as much as he can and knowing him and the way he works in the weight room, it's all going to be muscle. He could put 30, 40 pounds of muscle on by the next time we see him on a football field. And when you guys were going to look for him to do this interview, where was he? <laughs> of course, he was in the weight room and uh, you know, this is one guy who loves to work out. If there's one thing you're going to catch him doing, it's going to be lifting extra weights. And he's going to graduate from Washington early and go to Nebraska early, right? Yep. He's going to enroll early at the semester time so that he can participate in spring football and hopefully get a little bit of extra time with the team. So come fall, who knows? He might be in the, the starting lineup. All right. Thanks a lot. Jason Adair.